This is Neil Schneider from Meant to be Seen at CES 2018. To my immediate right is Emmanuel Icar. He is the CEO and co-founder of Scale One Portal. Welcome to the program, Emmanuel. Thank you very much. So what have we got on display here? Uh, we are displaying Voxel, which is an arcade system which was designed for gaming professionals. Uh, this is immersive VR without a headset. So Voxel is designed for this. Uh, you have users running in the system uh, in an immersive way without any user setup. And we can have people playing in a very wide area and making some even some exercise. All right. It, I tried it out. It's a lot of fun. Let's talk a little bit about how this works. This almost seems like a virtual reality cave where you've got two screens, one on the floor, one in front. You got projection. Can you can you elaborate a little more as to how it all works? Exactly. Actually, uh, this technology from, from, comes from the manufacturing industry, you know, where we were used to use a lot of cave systems. Uh, and Voxel just used the same thing. The fact is that we managed to drop down the price to get it achievable and affordable for gaming centers. So what you see here, the Voxel system is just the same price than an arcade machine now. And what is important also is to have dedicated contents which make use of this type of immersion where you still see your body, you can move while being in the virtual world. Okay, so let's talk about the technology a little bit. How many projectors are here? So in this setup we have two projectors and we have a sensor which is a markerless sensor where you can, currently it's a Kinect, we are moving to occipital or private sense devices just to allow for, you know, we don't want any devices or tracking devices which could be expensive to replace for the arcade owner. So. Okay. so now when I was playing, it was sensing, you know, how my arms were positioned, like I obviously had to figure out what I was touching and so on. Yeah. How accurate is it? What kind of things can it detect? Um, currently, uh, the system gets all your skeleton, which is a logical skeleton. It can range up to two players in the system itself. Um, accuracy runs from, is mostly in the centimeter, centimeter like, you know, but it's still in way enough for gaming purposes. Now I take it this isn't for home use. Are you, are you looking at the location-based entertainment market? Yeah. yeah, for now, yeah. We have some prototypes running on a single wall, which may be at some time uh, affordable for the consumer. But for now, yeah, it's still for professional. Now, what parts of this do you make? Like, do you make the projector? Do you make the sensors? Like, what, what role does your company play in all this? Uh, our company provides the full hardware, but it's mostly an integration of existing hardware. We don't have any specific sensor or any specific projector, uh, but we design the system so that it's really user-friendly. And we also design all the games and the contents so that it match I mean, the user expectations and the business owner needs. So you create the content as well? We create the content, the, all the user experiences, and uh, we make all of this you know, very smooth for our customers so that they can just, it's a plug and play system, so you just plug it and then it works. One of the benefits I see behind something like this is that you could probably get a lot of throughput. I mean, if you're running a look like an arcade, something like that, you got to figure how many people can you get through a machine in a given hour. Yeah. And I figure, you know, each experience, how long is a given experience? Yeah, uh, actually, since the game are designed for this purpose, you know, uh, we range, we made some, uh, we have some customers who have about 200 people running a day. And it's very time so that you know, uh, we compare to arcade systems and with their profitability, so it's just slightly above existing arcade's profitability for that. Yeah, it, it, but you have to wear, you wear shutter glasses with this, right? Yeah. Like that's how the 3D works? Uh, like what kind of glasses are you using to make this work? Uh, this is shutter glasses, uh, just because, you know, it's, um, we could have plastic standard glasses. Uh, the fact is that it will have a much higher price for the, um, uh, the new owner in terms of investment. And from the locations where we've been installed, we just noticed that uh, glasses stolen or broken were about nearly 10 per year. So we just decided to say, okay, let's keep more, keep provide more glasses, which is more efficient in terms of cost. Okay, 
Okay, so so like, are the shutter glasses more efficient than another choice? Is that what happened? Uh, what happens is that shutter glasses are maybe expensive. They're um, about 60 bucks for each set of glasses. Uh, but at the end, it's still more economical to have shutter glasses in arcades than uh, a more expensive system with dual projector setup uh, and uh, cheap glasses. I see. Very good. Well, anyway, this looks really exciting. It was a lot of fun. Thank and you. I wish you luck with this. How could people learn more? Uh, you can go to our website, uh, scale1portal.com, or just look at Voxel and Scale1Portal. And we also have a Twitter account, Scale1Portal. Very good. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Very happy. This is Neil Schneider from Meant to Be Seen at CES 2018. Thank you for watching.